Have you seen that there was a petition made to try to get Alexi Treviso banned from college? I haven't seen that. Okay. So is it a student uh, petition? No. So I, I was trying to dig in deeper because everywhere it's saying that the person who began it was Evelyn Graciano. Okay. And okay. I tried to figure out who that is, like who they keep saying her name in every article. Um, her name was on the petition, which is right here, and it no longer is. Her It, do, it says started by change petition now. It doesn't mm. say her name anymore. She took her name off. Um, and apparently she declined request for comment. She won't talk about it. And they spoke with somebody, which news organization... I mean, this says Christina Col Coulter, Fox News, um, tried to speak with her. She denied. And then they spoke with someone at its New Mexico, New Mexico State University. And they talked to a man named Justin Bannister, associate vice president for marketing and communications at NMSU. Yeah. And said that Evelyn Graciano is not a student or an employee. I mean, so it's I, somebody totally random. We don't know who it is. At least I can't find out who it is. Um, I tried looking into her name a little bit. Could dig deeper at another time. But this petition to date has received 23,747 signatures. Yeah. I mean, that's wild. Look, I, I feel like a lot of people take our videos on Alexi uh, different from what our actual goal is. And, uh, you know, our, our goal is not to claim she's innocent and to not be held accountable. No. But in any investigation, it doesn't matter what it what type of investigation it is. The details and the evidence is important. So there is going to be a, a difference between like a murder two charge and a murder one charge. And the only thing that separates that are the details. So like we believe that she does need to be held accountable in this situation. That's not a situation that you can just overlook. And uh, however, it doesn't need to be capital murder one with that's her entire. Higher charge. Agreed. Yep. Um, so the prosecution is trying to claim that she physically strangled the baby. Oh, and they have evidence of that? I mean, I'm curious what they're going to present at trial because from everything her lawyer is saying, the defense is saying, it sounds nothing like that. And from everything I've seen on the news, like the actual evidence we have, I never saw any evidence of that. Like, they don't talk about... They talked about the baby's autopsy. They said it was suffocation from entrapment, consuming yep. all the oxygen in a closed space and right. not getting more, you know? So yep. you suffocate. They Nowhere did I see anything about her physically strangling the baby. Yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're seeing this in a lot of different cases right now. And, and the obvious one comes to mind with Brian Koberger, but... Um, when the prosecution or the state isn't getting what they want, a lot of times they tend to move to the character assassination and cr start creating a storyline for the jury to get bought into. Now, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I believe in our justice system, and it is very important to me for people to be held accountable for exactly what they did. Right. And this is that situation. I feel like there is more than enough evidence here, whether she knew she was pregnant or not, whether uh, she went out of her way to end the child or not, um, there's accountability there that 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 needs to happen so uh those details just determine what type of accountability she's going to receive i i don't think people have a lot of i just see so many people calling her a monster and i i try to look at it from her perspective where i'm like this is a young woman about to go to college she Okay, say she, whether she knew or not that she was pregnant, what happened in that bathroom, okay? She was drugged up, 
Like, I don't think this is a girl who took drugs. Apparently her family is very religious, which would make sense with the mother and being afraid to tell her mother. Yeah. Um, she has plans set ahead of her. She was always a really good student, always doing everything she was supposed to do, not even a minor infraction on her record. Think about how terrifying that would be. You're in this drug-induced state. I mean, and the baby comes out not breathing. And I haven't seen any evidence showing that she physically, physically manually did anything to the baby other than put it in the bag and try to get rid of it. Um, and I think Capital One murder, I think for them, is going to be difficult to prove. And now you have the lawyer coming out with all this malpractice stuff. But I, I go back to thinking about her in that bathroom on morphine, terrified. Yeah. This baby comes out. And say it is blue, and she has no knowledge of what to do. Yeah, yeah. I And I think that's super... And there's no reports of the baby crying. There were nurses and her I, mother and tons of people checking on her in this time frame, and never was a baby heard crying. Yeah, and I think where people, like, we lean more with where a lot of people feel like, because... It's important to be unbiased in looking at this, and we believe that when you're looking at a situation unbiased, you have to look at both sides. So you have to look at the situation from Alexi's point of view, and you also have to look at it from the baby's point of view, right? And so, yes, I agree with you, and I think there is meat on the bone there with exactly what you're saying, regardless of whether she knew or not. Again, that goes back to what charges it could be and understanding how she could be put into that situation, but then... Then we go to what a lot of people are looking at in the complete and utter lack of humanity in the decision to not say something, right? And and that is super concerning, and that is ultimately going to be the point of the issue here, that itself. Because sure, yeah, the baby could have came out. It could have not been breathed breathing. It could have been a stillborn because you guys also got to remember, yes, there was no crying and she was on all kinds of meds that if you're pregnant, you shouldn't but be she taking. Tro- she chose not to get life saving medical care for the baby regardless. She just chose not to say something. You know, it, I'm well, sure she, she wasn't thinking. It. She chose I'm, to hide it. I'm sure she wasn't thinking, well, sh- should I get like life saving care or not? That's too detailed. She just chose not to say something. And uh, it goes back to the, if you see something say something that that includes even when you're in a situation like this she should have said something and she should have said something right away and just because there were nurses up her butt that made sure that it didn't turn into a situation like alexis uh avila or avia or whatever um where she went five to eight hours without coming back to the child in the trash can she just didn't we don't have a good understanding of her character and if she actually would have left it the entire time and never said anything. She you know what I mean? She absolutely would have, um, I, I mean, think. That, you gotta Dude, be careful saying she that. Stuck you it, gotta. She stuck it in a trash bag and actively hid it. So, while I do think there while is... While high on hormones. Okay. And morphine. The hormones, I... I I think it's the combination. I wouldn't just say it's hormones or just morphine. And I don't think it would be possible to do it on both of those unless there's a fear component. She did it, I think, because of fear. Yeah. Um, I just want to, I just try and be very careful because you're saying she's going to make a decision that we don't know that she was going to make. And you just got to be careful with what it. What is the point in saying, I don't know if she would have went five to eight hours. At least the other girl's baby survived, like, lucky enough. It yeah. probably shouldn't have, but, but I just... would she have changed her mind and in an hour been like, hey, I need to tell you something. That is a that changes whether somebody could be a complete and total sociopathic monster to somebody who made a mistake in the situation, had time to think it over, and then tried to correct the situation. That is huge to me. That would mean everything. So I think it's a big deal, a huge deal. But because of the situation she was in, she didn't get that option because they checked the bathroom right away yeah but the, i mean they didn't it took them a minute i mean they didn't even check the bathroom they within just had 10 minutes they had no That's pretty right away they didn't they looked in there saw blood called a cleanup lady and then she found yeah. it by mistake i i feel like that's what i'm talking so, about 
Yeah, but I mean, they checked it right away, I, and they were starting the behave. They were starting the things needed to find that child right away. Okay. So. Anyway, um, I just don't know if I agree with not allowing her to go to college or seek higher education. Even in the prison system, prisoners are allowed to seek a higher education in some form. So, um, she's taking online classes. She decided, um, innocent until proven guilty. I, I just don't see the benefit here in barring her from college. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's going to affect anybody on campus besides rumors and side eyes. And it's going to affect her more than anybody Ooh. else. Yeah. And, um, and I, I, I see what you're saying with like saying like who she is, whether how she made this decision says a lot about her mental health and whether she would have said something later or not. But regardless to me, and I think to a lot of other people, the baby's dead at the end of the day. Like whether she said something 20 minutes later, an hour later, or never said anything at all, the baby is still gone. Yeah. So, um, and we don't know if that could have been changed. So, I mean, I guess in deciding where she should end up in life, I guess that matters to know what her mental health status is. And I'm sure she will probably get evaluated for trial. Yeah. I mean, I hope so. I hope so. I think that's going to determine everything. And I think those details that people want to overlook will determine everything. That, that makes me decide whether I believe yes, murder one, because there's a very, there's a huge difference between a girl that knew she was pregnant, went out of her way to hide it, was trying to cover her stomach, knew exactly what this pain was, sat there in the bed, created a plan and idea that I'm going to go in the bathroom, I'm going to deliver this child, and I'm going to make sure that I no longer have a child going forward. That's murder one all day. That is a complete and total utter monster. That's very different from somebody that maybe knew, maybe didn't know, was so scared of her parents and school and judgment that denial took over and, and, and she chose not to know maybe, you know, and there's some mental instability going on there, truly didn't know what this pain was and it just got to a point where it was unbearable, uh, felt like she had to use the bathroom, number two, went to the bathroom and oh my God, what is that in the toilet? You know what I mean? See, and then what do I do in a frantic state and makes a really horrible, awful decision that could have ended that child. Those are two very different yeah. people. And what's important to me also is the the factors surrounding her life that made her that afraid. If it was an overbearing parent, people do not give enough weight to that. Overbearing parents have literally made serial killers. Yeah, check out they this have, video. They have created some of the worst people on the planet and some of the the not worst people on the planet who've made the biggest mistakes. I agree. Because I of agree. fear. So, I mean, she's young. If if her family is truly religious like I'm hearing and she had this overbearing mother that she was terrified of, I have more sympathy for her. Yeah. And I don't consider her a monster as long as she's not like gonna become a serial killer like as long as that you know what i mean but i don't yeah. feel like those signs are there for me personally yeah no i agree um, with you and i know that's this is an unpopular opinion a lot of people just want to be like she's a monster she's a baby killer you know send her to prison yeah but the details matter i agree they absolutely matter here. oh i did want to mention one thing in the change petition okay it says in the beginning that they call upon the authorities and educational institutions to take immediate action to prevent Alexi from pursuing a career in nursing or social work or any field of education. I don't know why they brought up nursing and social work. It is not confirmed anywhere that she was going to school for that. But they, mm. but then they say any field of education. I think they mentioned those two specifically to like, cause what her case is based around the killing of a baby uh, you know, the death of a baby. Yeah. Um, they mentioned those specifically to, like, make people think, like, oh, my God, like, she could be going into that. We can't have her doing that. Yeah. Yep. And it's manipulative because there's nothing out there showing that's what she was going to school for whatsoever. Yeah. 
No, and that's I, wild. Yeah. So, I don't know. Tell us what you guys think about it. Absolutely.